you are now 1,000 light years from Earth. Looking at all the stars where planets have been discovered, our sun is at the center. Our galaxy is home to more than a billion stars. The stars you see represent only a tiny fraction of those. Click and drag with your mouse to explore our galactic neighborhood and search for planets that might be hospitable to life. Hello everyone and welcome, this is Anton and today we're taking a look at NASA's Eyes on Exoplanets uh, software that is absolutely free and is available from the link in the description below. Now, this is produced by Jet Propulsion Lab uh, in NASA and it's actually really, really cool. It's um, probably one of the coolest um, free simulators uh, that's very realistic as well that I've seen in quite a long time. Uh, obviously not as uh, cool as Space Engine or Universe Animox 2, but considering that this is actually all very realistic and constantly updated, um, I think it's totally worth checking out. Now, I think it's only available on Windows right now. Uh, but it will definitely make it make its way to Mac as well. And first of all, there's actually three apps in one. First one is called Eyes on Earth. This is where you get to explore our sort of our Earth and uh, geology and geography of Earth. Second one is called Eyes on Solar System, where you get to explore explore our solar system and all of the various missions that are currently going on. But this one is actually what uh, probably the coolest, at least for me. This is the kind of a simulation that I kind of want to explore because this allows you to explore the exoplanets that have been discovered to date and you get to actually look at them or at least the artistic rendition of what they look like in real life, in real time, using all of the knowledge we have about them. So for example, let's actually go back to Earth for a second. We're going to return back to Earth. We're going to look into the sky and actually you can place yourself anywhere you want. So let's, let me find uh, my home country. Where is my home country? All right, this is Earth upside down, so I'm having trouble finding it, but let's just go somewhere here-ish. This is Canada. So I'm looking into the skies uh, from Canada and I'm seeing all of these stars that we've discovered right there. So this is all of, uh, all of the stars discovered by Kepler. It's usually sort of looking at this one direction in the sky. I'm going to just choose one of the Kepler stars. So there you go. Kepler 357. Distance from Earth, 3,834 light years. It also tells you how long it will take you to travel here by car, which is not something you want to do. Uh, bullet train, jet, or obviously light speed. So we are 3,800 light years away from our solar system. And if you want to compare this to our own solar system, this is what it would look like. And it also shows you the habitable zones, and you can see that none of the planets have been found in the habitable zone yet. But the planets that we have discovered around Kepler-357 are these three objects. So uh, this one is the closest to the habitable zone, and unfortunately this is a hot Jupiter. So it's a hot gas giant. Uh, this one here is also a hot Jupiter, and I'm guessing the last one is probably a hot Jupiter as well. Alright, so all three of these are gas giants, so that's not going to help us. We can possibly go back to Earth and try to find another star. And what you can basically do is go through all of the 1,962 planets that we currently have. And this number is actually, it goes up. It goes up almost every day because as we discover new stars and new planets around those stars, um, those uh, planets will be added to the database that is updated as soon as you start the program. It's actually, it goes online, it searches for updates and tries to download them. Uh, so essentially, this is how this, this works. And I personally think it's actually pretty cool, pretty awesome. But you can obviously look at the um, other objects in the solar system as well. You can kind of go through um, various uh, really cool discoveries or publications that have been recently discovered. You can uh, see what stars we have recently found, what they actually have around them. Uh, you can kind of follow along all of the really awesome terrestrial planets that we have discovered and possibly try to point them out in the sky. And then if you have a telescope, maybe even see them yourself. Uh, here's actually the more recent discovery of a gas giant, Jupiter-like planet around a star code OGLE 2015-BLG, blah, 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 blah. Uh, there's also Kepler discoveries here. There's quite a lot of Kepler discoveries, and you can kind of go through this entire thing of what Kepler has discovered throughout its years of service. And uh, some of these stars are actually really, really awesome. But the coolest thing here is that obviously you can kind of uh, go back to the sun, go back to our home planet, and from here try to find out, you know, what is the closest solar system to us that possibly has um, a planet that 
possibly has a star around it. Oh yeah, the, you could, you also get to see various missions, like for example, Voyager 1, Voyager 2, Pioneer missions that have actually already um, left our solar system and are slowly heading out into the outer space. But so, for example, I'm guessing this is, is this um, Alpha Centauri? No, that was not Alpha Centauri at all. It's actually something else. Now, I'm, I'm going to try to find Alpha Centauri. Where is it? It should be really, really close to us. Well, this is actually a lot more difficult than I imagined. Anyway, so let's just go to whatever we find. So here we go. Wolf 1061, uh, 14 light years away from Earth. It has three planets that we've discovered around it. Um, it is a, star, a type M star, a very, very common type of a star. And let's actually look at its habitable zone and nothing in the habitable zone here. This planet actually does sort of reach the inner rim of the habitable zone. So maybe, just maybe, Wolf 1061D is a planet we can possibly land on and possibly even settle. Depending, of course, on the temperature that it gets from um, its parent star. Now, so this is actually what I wanted to show you. And if you do want to explore this, uh, the link is in the description. And I definitely recommend that you kind of play around with this because this will teach you so much. And if you actually just open this, you know, once a week or something and look at the discoveries here or wherever else you find uh, that's basically, you know, latest discoveries right here, you can kind of go through them. Here's January 2016, discovery of WASP-90. Uh, that's uh, 1,100 light years away from us and has one planet around it called WASP-90b. So you can actually look at it and find out that it's a very, very hot Jupiter that is probably super hot and would kill you in an instant. And so this type of a game or this type of a simulation is definitely something I recommend to everyone who loves science and who loves space. It doesn't really take very much space on your hard drive. And because this is actually a three-in-one simulation, uh, and is absolutely free. I, I definitely think that you should just install it and keep it on your hard drive because you never know. You might want to just go and explore uh, the galaxy here or might want to discover what you can actually see from your home. Like, for example, if you're currently in Buenos Aires or close to Buenos Aires in Argentina, you may want to find out what you can actually see, what kind of stars you see, and if those stars actually have planets around them. And then you can surprise your friend by all of this awesome knowledge that you have. And so here is a star called, I believe it's pronounced FOMO Hall, but I'm not particularly certain here because I have never, I never needed to pronounce this name. Um, but yeah, there you go, a known planet type. What can it be? Could be a planet that is habitable and could be a planet that is completely and ridiculously super hot or super cold. And so that's essentially what Eyes on the Pla uh, Exoplanets uh, Beta is. Uh, like I said, there's actually three uh, in-one apps here. There's also um, Eyes on the Solar System, which is a really fun. You get to explore various missions that we've launched or that are currently um, already going on somewhere in our solar system. And there's also Eyes on uh, Planet Earth. So, And all three of these apps are actually uh, really, really educational and will definitely inspire you to continue the pursuit of space knowledge and understanding of the universe. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to show you. Check out the link in the description below if you want to download this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Game you later. And as always, bye-bye. Now let's go back and see if we can actually find a really, really, really far away star that possibly has some kind of a really, really cool planet around it. Look at that. 27,000 light years away sweeps 11. I've never even heard of this star, but it's very close to the central black hole. And even this star has a planet around it. It's a hot Jupiter. And it's definitely very close to the central black hole called Sagittarius A. Not a place I want to find myself in.